Hello guys, welcome everybody to Purple A's Podcast. I am your host, who bleeds purple and gold, Isaac here. So, officially the 53-man roster for the Minnesota Vikings came out um, yesterday. It came out yesterday, and um, I gotta say, man, we're gonna go ahead and break it down, you know, just for all the players that are out there, you know. I mean, I will give my initial reactions on all of them. So... We'll start off, you know, with um, the people that made it, and then we'll do the people that were cut. I'm not going to name every single player that's been cut, but I'm going to name a few, though, that basically just didn't make it. We got quarterback Sam Darnold. Obviously, he's going to be the starter. Obviously, he's going to be starter. And it doesn't specifically say, though, Nick Mullins and Jaron Hall. So, I don't know what this means, like, honestly, if, basically, I don't know which one's going to be quarterback two, it doesn't specifically say, but the only thing that really concerns me, you know, about either Nick Mullins and Jaron Hall is, we already know who we're getting out of Nick Mullins, we don't need to see any more from him, we need to see absolutely nothing from him, so, but I'm willing to explore what Jaron Hall has. Like, he should, he, it's a no-brainer that he should be the quarterback, too. That's really my only concern with, that's really one of my concerns with the 53 main roster is if Jaron Hall is the quarterback, too, for the Minnesota Vikings. We'll just have to see what they do. And also, another one concerning is the running back position. You got Aaron Jones, and you got Ty Chandler. That's it. That's the only players that they have put on the 53-man roster that I could say that they put on there. So, it's a bit risky, you know, to put just put two running backs out there. And I thought maybe, okay, maybe they might put one on the, on the practice squad, you know, in case one gets injured. And then you can bring in one of the other running backs, like Kenna and Wongu, Miles Gaskin, or Dwayne McBride in there. Maybe. That just hasn't happened, and you also got fullback CJ Ham, which is obvious. It's not a surprise, really. So, basically, though, but those guys got cut. Those guys got cut. Dwayne McBride, Kenny and Wongu, and Miles Gaskin. I'm kind of surprised that they kind of did this. I'm a bit worried about, but here's kind of my thing, though, is we haven't seen CJ Ham take much of the snaps. You know what I'm saying? We just he has the he has the ability to make good plays as a fullback, but the thing is, we we just haven't seen we just haven't seen him be a running back three and see how good he is. That's the thing. We'll just have to see how good he is right now. But you got the wide receiver position, obviously Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison. Like, what is there to say about them? Um, you got Jalen Naylor. Brandon Powell, Tristan Jackson, Trent Sherfield. You got a strong wide receiver room, really, to be honest with you. This is a really strong... I mean, it was. It came down... I figured these guys... I kind of figured the that these four would kind of make it. I had a hunch, you know, because I don't think Lucky Jackson really made enough like plays than, than one of the others been more of an impact than the other did you know I mean it's just too much goodness really in here and then you got the tight ends you got Josh Oliver Johnny Munt and Nick Muse so basically right now who's on the PUP list is TJ Hawkinson which is physically I mean I forgot what it's called not able to play I guess Physically unable to play. That's right. That's what it is. Okay. I just couldn't figure it out. So, TJ Hawkinson, he's going to be out for like four weeks. I don't know. That's like the maximum, which is actually not bad. And then, so basically, it's a bit worrisome. Josh Oliver and Johnny Mump, by the way, they're, they've been okay. I'll say that about them. They've been okay last season. They made some plays and they didn't make some plays. So, we don't know what we're going to get out of them, but... They'll be serviceable. I know that for sure. And then we go 
Then we go to the offensive line of the Vikings. You got Christian Dersaw, Brian O'Neill, Blake Brandle, Ed Ingram, Garrett Bradbury for starters. Really, obviously, I think Blake, Blake Brandle can handle it. And we'll see how good um Garrett Bradbury covers. He's He can be good at times, but he's just a small center. I'm just kind of disappointed, but... But then again, you can't fill in all the holes all in one offseason with so many holes that we have. But I think that's another priority for next season to address center. And then you got... And then for basically one of the surprise... And who's up, and by the way, Dalton Reisner is also in PUP in the PUP list. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So, anyways, the backups you got Walter Rouse. Really, I'm kind of surprised. I guess maybe he was okay the first two games, but Philadelphia he was awful. I just I just have no idea why Walter Rouse was in there. But what do I know? You got David Casenberry, Dan Feeney, and Michael Jurgens. So basically, I mean, not a bad offensive line. Not bad, really, honestly. But we just hope that, you know, Dalton Reisner gets healthy soon, you know, because he's definitely one of our best offensive line. So hopefully he comes back healthy. And then switching to the defensive side, I mean, there's nothing really bad to say about the defensive side. The defense, the edge rushers, you got Jonathan Greenard, you got um, Andrew Van Ginkle, Patrick Jones the second, Dallas Turner, um, Lee, and you got Jihad Ward, and right now who is on IR is Gabriel Murphy. I mean, he made the roster in spite of not playing, but... But, you know, there was one person that, I mean, that you could make the argument that should have made the 53-man roster. In my opinion, he made a huge impact. A huge impact, but he just didn't make it, really. Defensive tackles, I mean, not too shabby. Jonathan Bullard, Harrison Phillips, you got Jerry Tillery. Levi Drake Rodriguez made it, even. And Jalen Redmond made it. And Taki Taimani, I mean... Levi Drake Rodriguez and Taki Taimani, they've, they were absolutely good in the run. They were good at run stopping. They've made plays, you know, just not, they just made plays. So, I mean, I would absolutely love to see these guys start a game at one point, you know, or get some meaningful snaps. I would love to see that from them. Linebackers, you got Blake Cashman, Ivan Pace Jr., I mean, Grugier Hill, you got Grugier Hill, you got Brian Asamoah, so I mean, he made it, so I mean, hey man, I'm fine with Brian Asamoah making it here, absolutely amazing. You got cornerbacks, you got, of course, Stephon Gilmore, Byron Murphy, Shaquille Griffin, a Caleb Evans, Fabian Moru, and Dwight McLaughlin made it too, Dwight McLaughlin made it, I mean... Hey man, I absolutely like I absolutely like Dwight McLaughlin and I feel like he's gonna be a problem for this team in the he's gonna be a problem for other teams in the future and I'm all for it, man. Dwight McLaughlin, awesome. I mean of course there's nothing really much to say about the safety position. You got Harrison Smith, Cameron Bynum, Josh Metellus, um, Theo Jackson, and you got Jay Ward. So, I mean, you got a strong safety, too, as well. Overall, on defense, I have no problems at all with the defensive side of the ball, really. Not really. Not really. I don't have a problem with it. Just for the people that's been cut, you know, and just the favorites, you know, that people have been saying. That's just the only it. And you also, and of course, you got Will Riker, Rich, Ryan Wright, and their snapper, Andrew T. Palala. So... Now we get to the people that's been... So overall, I think this is a solid 53-man roster. And then we get to, the, you know, the cuts. Um, You got quarterback Matt Carell. I mean, it's no surprise. He did not... I, I mean, I don't think I expected him to show, but maybe I was hoping maybe he would do it. But no, he's not it. He's not it. I'm not, I'm not mad that they cut him. But some surprises, though. You got Dwayne McBride. I mean... He's kind of had, 
he's been non-existent for some games, but against the Eagles, he played really, really well. But overall, Dwayne McBride, he is who he is. You got uh, you got King Kenne and Wangu. I mean, this is absolutely shocking to me. I mean, I thought this dude would surely be the running back three behind Aaron Jones and Ty Chandler. But, I mean, that's absolutely shocking, though. And be the kick returner. I have no idea who's going to be now the um, special teams returner. But we'll just see how it goes. I don't know if it's, like, the new rules on special teams. I don't know how he didn't. But I guess maybe there was just not enough. Miles Gaskin... And then some of the wide receivers, Lucky Jackson, Joshua Domes, Thayer Thomas, Malik Knowles. I mean, obviously they did not make enough of an impact, you know, like the rest of the wide receivers do. But, but hey, I'm still good with the wide receiver room overall. I'm still good with it. And then you got Nikhil Harry and Robert Tunyon. I mean, they're, they surprisingly were cut. Nikhil Harry, okay. He basically was meh. He was not, he was okay, but really didn't make much of an impact. Robert Tunyon, I feel like he should have made the roster, but he didn't. So, it's kind of disappointing. Um, Jack Quaylen Roy and James Lynch, James Lynch didn't make it. So, I mean, I feel like James Lynch should have had some, but I guess maybe there's too much good performances. You got Andre Carter and surprisingly Bo Richter didn't make the 53-man roster. That's the one that I've been kind of shocked. You know, I'm like, really? I would have argued that he would have put it ahead of Jihad Ward. I would have put him ahead of him. You would have had you would have had a strong one, honestly. But Bo Richter, I mean. I guess maybe there's just too much, you know, good players that I've already mentioned that made the 53 main roster that have already made it. So, I mean, it just sucks, you know, Bo Richter didn't make it, but it is what it is. And also, cornerback Duke Shelley, really? I mean, okay, but like I said, it's basically the same thing with Bo Richter, you know, he was one of my favorites. Like, it's like, oh yeah, this dude should be a starter. But, I mean, I kind of get it, but I'm also a bit disappointed, you know. But both safeties, Bobby McCain, he didn't make it. And Lewis Seen, I mean, Lewis Seen, he is who he is. He's been, he has, he's had a good preseason against the Cleveland Browns, you know. Other than the Cleveland Browns preseason game that he has played in, he's really shown nothing, really. Like, let's be real. Go back and watch all the other preseason games that Lewis seen since Lewis seen has been drafted. He's really haven't shown anything. He's shown nothing, really. And that's what's most disappointing because I thought maybe he was a first-rounder that we had to get him. But you should never have to say that about a first-rounder, that he's a bust. You shouldn't have to, but, I mean, he's just he just is who he is. I thought maybe... Because I said, but I did say, in order to make the 53 main roster, you're going to have to make more, you're going to have to have more big plays than non-existent plays, which he followed that up with a non-existent game, which honestly, though, very disappointing. But other than that, man, I mean, I would give, I would... Maybe given an A minus, maybe for the fifty three man roster that we have right now, it's overall, overall very very also very solid. So I mean, I have some high, I have some optimism going into the twenty twenty four season because of just this roster that you've put together. So I mean, why not, man? Maybe maybe the best I would say. Look, I don't know. Maybe eleven wins. I mean, I'm now projecting now. At least, maybe at least nine wins, at least. And just like that, we'll just see how it goes, though. But I like the 53-man roster. I think I think it could definitely be good. There's some things that they could have done better, which is why I put it at A-. minus. Just because my only concern is the quarterbacks, the running backs, the tight ends. That's it, really. That's it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys... Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Skull.